So first question is, um, what drew you to the project and made you want to be a part of 222? Um, the script, I, I mean, f first and foremost, I mean, besides the fact that I learned that Constance Wu was doing a play on stage, that was number one Aww, enticement. thank you. Um, and then I read it and it was such a page turner um, that I remember thinking, if, if the experience of reading it was anything like the audience's experience watching it, then I have to do it. It's nothing. Really? You want to do this? <clears throat> I didn't want to tell you, but it seems we have a ghost. We also had a very condensed rehearsal period. It was like a real fun challenge that way because we had like no time to put this thing up and, uh, and yet we've done it. I woke up, I thought I'd heard my phone, but something was coming through the monitor and it wasn't Phoebe. I heard footsteps. Somebody walking on the floorboards in her room. Shit! Like Finn, the script really freaked me out in a way that scripts don't usually freak me out. And also because I've been trying to do theater my whole life, really. I, was, I lived in New York for 10 years trying to be a theater actor. Could not get arrested. <laughs> I had to become a film and TV actor in order to, to get book play. theater jobs. <laughs> no, the no. irony of it. I want you to stay Absolutely. until 222. <laughs> Jen! You're serious? Yes. I want them to be here as witnesses when you hear it too. Do you believe in ghosts? Yes. Not in the spooky sense, Maybe. I believe it in the very regular sense. But, but yes, yes. I believe in the possibility. How does it feel to be performing at the Amundsen Theater? It, it's very exciting. It's a huge house. It's like 2,000 mm. seats, which I think at first we were like, how is this play going to transfer from a rehearsal room into this gigantic house? And it really does. You can like feel the wave of terror and fear and laughter and joy all the way up to the balcony. Well, mine and the entire scientific establishment. Oh, oh hey, okay, I'm not arguing. <laughs> Do. He loves it. I've had experiences that I don't think you can explain with science. It's laid out very cleverly, the mm -hmm. theater. Because, well, yeah, when I heard it was like 2,000 people, I was like, there's no way. We're just going to be screaming our heads off and no one's going to buy it. But mm -hmm. it's just, uh, it, that has not been the case. That's because you're a lizard. <laughs> Excuse me? It's a simplification, but you can say that our brain has three parts. The monkey brain governs reason and language. The mouse brain controls desire. Hunger. Love. And do you believe in ghosts? I definitely believe in ghosts. I have had a couple things happen to me in my life, so I'm very much a believer. I easily get freaked out after watching horror movies alone in my house. Like, I will sleep with the lights on and have to drink a little more wine to fall asleep, <laughs> like my character. Um, so yes, I definitely believe in ghosts. And I like, yeah, like I say, like scientifically, like I'm some scientist <laughs> and, and have done experiments. But I, I like, I don't believe in them. But I also do not, will not put myself in any position where I might discover that they do exist. So he's not going to do yeah. the Ouija board yeah. with me. Question one: If ghosts exist. Why aren't there a shitload of them? How do you mean? Why aren't they flooding into our world by the thousands, like refugees from some war zone desperate to escape? 